Lesson 8.3, we're going to connect fractions to division. Did you know fractions are division problems? And there's some previous videos that are linked in the description that we're going to talk about throughout this lesson. Fractions represent division. The numerator of a fraction shows the amount of items being divided. The denominator shows the amount of equal sized pieces into which the items are being divided. Both the fraction and the quotient of the numerator divided by the denominator show the size or amount of each piece after division. We have 10 halves. It means 10 divided by 2. We can think of this fraction bar as a division sign symbol. 3 fourths means 3 divided by 4. 12 thirds means 12 divided by 3. And 1 half means 1 divided by 2. So a fraction is a division problem. The numerator is the dividend and the denominator is the divisor. 10 fifths means 10 divided by 5. How can four people share two candy bars? Well, they can cut each candy bar in half to make four pieces. Two divided into four parts is equal to two fourths. It's equal to a half candy bar each. Our dividend is the numerator, and our divisor is the denominator. We can simplify it to one half. Three friends want to equally share two pizzas. How much pizza will each friend get? So we have two pieces that we need to divide by three friends. We can draw two circles for the pizzas. And we can draw lines to divide each pizza into three equal slices. Each friend will get one-third of each pizza. We count the number of thirds each friend gets. So there's two pizzas. They'll each get two of the thirds. Or two times one-third equals two-thirds. And it's two pizzas divided by three friends. It's equal to two-thirds. And we can check this with multiplication. We can multiply 2 thirds times 3, and if it equals this dividend 2, we did it right. 2 thirds times 3 is equal to 6 thirds, which simplifies to 2. So yes, we did it correctly. So look at the pattern of what is happening here. So we're going to have two pizzas every single time, but we're going to increase the amount of friends. If there's two pizzas divided by four friends, then each pizza is cut into fourths. There's four friends, it's cut into fourths. Each is going to get two fourths, which simplifies to one half. There's two pizzas and five friends, then each pizza is cut into fifths. And they each get a fifth from each pizza, they get two fifths. If there's two pizzas and six friends, we cut each pizza into sixths. There's two pizzas, they'll each get a sixth, that's two sixths, and that simplifies to one third. If there's two pizzas and seven friends, then you cut each pizza into sevenths, and they each get a seventh as two sevenths. They get a seventh from each pizza, and there's two of them, so it's two sevenths. And if there's two pizzas and eight friends, you can cut each pizza into eighths, because there's eight friends, they would get an eighth from each of the pizzas, there's two of them, so that's two eighths, and that simplifies to one fourth. Do you see the pattern? The number of friends is how many pieces each pizza was cut into, and then they got that fraction from each of the pizzas, there's two of them, so we ended up with two fourths, two fifths, two sixths, two sevenths, two eighths, and we simplified the ones that we needed to. Four friends want to equally share three liters of lemonade. How much lemonade will each friend get? So think, we can draw three rectangles to represent the liters of lemonade. There's three of them. And we can divide each rectangle into fourths because there's four friends. Each friend shares a, of one liter is going to be one fourth. So from this first liter, because there's four friends, they'll each get a fourth of this one. And because there's three liters, 
Each friend will get a fourth from each liter. They'll get three times one fourth, or three fourths liter. Four friends, three liters, three fourths. If we have eight friends that want to share three liters of lemonade, then each friend's share of one liter is one eighth. And there's three liters, so each friend will get three times one eighth, or three eighths liter. When there are more people than whole items being shared, they will each get a fraction of the whole items. If four people are trying to share only two pizzas, well then, they're each going to get a fraction of a pizza. They'll each get two-fourths, which simplifies to a half of a pizza. And when there's fewer people than whole items, they'll each get more than one whole. Now we have two people that are sharing three pizzas, and there's less people than pizzas. That means they're each going to get a half of one of the pizzas. That'll be three halves. We can also give one pizza, a whole pizza to the one person, another whole pizza to another person, and then they can split the last pizza, the third pizza, in half. They'll each get one and a half, which is what three halves simplifies to. Six friends want to equally share 19 yards of ribbon. How much ribbon will each friend get? So we think, there's fewer people than yards of ribbon, so they will each get more than one whole yard. We need to do 19 sixths as 19 divided by 6. There's 19 yards and 6 people. We can use long division. We can do 6 fits into 19 three times. We write a 3 above the 9 for the quotient. And 6 times 3 is 18. So that's what we subtract from the 19. We get a 1. And we learned in video 2.7 that we can interpret the remainder as a fraction by, by writing the remainder as the numerator and the divisor as the denominator. That means we have 3 and 1 6. Each friend gets 3 and 1 6 yards of ribbon. And we can check this. We can multiply 3 and 1 6 times this 6. And if it equals 19, we did it correctly. 3 and 1 6 times 6, we can break it apart into a 3 plus a 1 6 times 6, and then using the distributive property that gives us a 3 times 6 plus a 1 6 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18, and 1 6 times 6 is 1 whole. 18 plus 1 whole is 19. That was our dividend. We did it correctly. And those videos are linked in the description if you need them. It's very helpful to know how to write the remainder and the divisor as a fraction of the quotient. Six friends shared a box of 10 brownies equally, and four friends shared a box of six brownies equally. Bob was in both groups of friends. What is the total number of brownies that Bob received? So we think we need to find 10 sixths, 10 divided by six, and six fourths, six divided by four. Then add the quotients to know how much Bob got. We do. 10 divided by 6, 6 fits into 10 one time, and 6 times 1 is 6. We get a 4 remainder, which we can use as the numerator and the divisor as the denominator. So we have 1 and 4 6, which simplifies to 1 and 2 thirds. Then we do 6 divided by 4. 4 fits into 6 one time. 4 times 1 is 4. We subtract and get a 2. We have 1 and 2 fourths, which simplifies to 1 and a half. Now we can add 1 and 2 thirds and 1 and a half to know how much Bob got. 1 and 2 thirds and 1 and, two ha one, and 1 half. And they need a common denominator, don't they? We can multiply the 3 times a 2, and they'll meet at 6. And the 2 numerator wants to be multiplied by 2, so we have 1 and 4, 6. The 2 needs to be multiplied by a 3 to meet at 6. And the 1 wants to be multiplied by 3, so we have 1 and 3, 6. We add the numerators, and we get 7, 6. We add the whole number we together, the whole numbers, we get 2 and 7, 6. And 2 and 7, 6 is equal to 2 
plus a 6 6 as a one hole, plus a 1 6. That means we have 3 and 1 6. We know Bob got 3 and 1 6 brownies by being in both groups. So remember, a fraction is a division problem. 10 6 is equal to 1 and 2 thirds, and 6 fourths is equal to 1 and 2 fourths. That simplifies to 1 and 1 half. Our next lesson, 8.4, we're going to talk about fraction and whole number division with related multiplication. I hope I'll see you there. Stay safe, stay strong, and I'll see you next time. Bye.